this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. By me. Flooding mine. Oh, Alright, let's do it, guys. Alright. Been a little while, been a minute. Uh, sorry if things uh, look or sound uh, uh, different. Or, uh, oh, it's Crowler. Ah, you're Flood. The one who defeated the King of Duel Academy. You defeated Zane. Oh, man. Didn't think we'd have an event already to start back, but all right. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Um, yeah, yeah. Felt like uh, recording a little DX Duel Academy, and, well, here we go. Uh, ooh, one thing I do want to do real quick. Yeah, yeah, let's get that mouse off the screen there. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay, yeah, so sorry, you know, first episode back, sorry if things look a little off, or sound a little off, hey, if they do, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, <clears throat> I won't believe it until I see it. Huh, that was a weird voice I gave him. The only way you'd ever beat him is if you are cheating, you slifer slacker. And I'll catch you with my own eyes, you slifer slime. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's Zane. I tried explaining the truth to Dr. Crowler, but he he wouldn't believe me. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> Ooh, Josh using that uh, Millennium Necklace a little... Too good. But uh, anyway. Here's the deal. Fladenmon 14, I am the top academic proctor in all of Duel Academy. I order you to the duel, and I shall be the judge. So, if you win, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Such a hassle. <laughs> Sorry to get you involved in all this, Flood. Eh, no problem, Zane. I mean, you know, I was just chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard <clears throat> a couple minutes ago. Uh, anyway, hey, first duel back, we're dueling Zane. So, uh, yeah, so, little secret, guys. Um... Yeah, first video recording with this phone, and, uh, you know, a couple things with that. Audio could be bad, uh, video, so I did save state, like, three or four times. Uh, what do we got here? Let me pay attention for a quick second. Okay. I think I remember this deck. Let's go with Giant Red in attack mode. So, yeah, if, uh, we lose this, <laughs> make no mistake, I am the best duelist. Uh, I can just reload the save state. No problem. I summon Reflect Bounder. Attack mode. Not bad, Zane. <laughs> Go. Reflection Ray. Destroy Giant Rat. Huh. I always imagine a monster like that, you know, draws the rat into the mirror. And then, like, you know, uh, shatters it. You know, like, draws its soul into the mirror. Doesn't that sound like an attack Reflect Bounder we use? Anyway, let's go with Mooka Mooka. Yeah, I'm excited to be back. By the way, I hope you can hear the music. Uh, I hope you can. I hope, I hope it's just all just chill, perfect. Now, one thing I do remember about this game: a lot of people like to use trap cards, and we're doing Zane, the very best of the best. So, how much you want to bet that's a mirror force? I'd like to bet a lot. Now, the thing about Reflect Bounder you might want to know is uh, it does uh, implode upon you attacking it. So, little thing you can do here. Let me just summon, uh, we have Turtle, right? Yeah, let me just summon Turtle and see what happens. Okay. So we're going to add a precaution. We're going to switch Mooka Mooka to defense. Because uh, right now I have five cards in hand. It's got 1,800 defense. And in case this is a Mirror Force, you know, no big deal. All right, UFO Turtle, go. Out of this world, smash. So, yep, it does that. So the good part here is not only did he not have a trap, but we get to float on Turtle and get rid of his Reflect Bounder all at the same time. Pretty good deal. Alright. So apparently I got a lot of floaters on this deck. Uh, whichever <laughs> deck. I, it's, it's been way too long, guys. Uh, also, I'm going to keep an eye on the time on this video. Because... yeah. Oh, oh, it has a time. Ooh, I like this. Uh, huh, I am my turn with a face down. Ah, I see. There is a timer down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, by the way, is anything cut off? That's what I need to think about. Um, the deck boss is cutting off, like, the quick play counter. Uh, not too problematic, honestly. 
I mean, you can still see like the deck and the graveyard. Yeah, so I think we're okay. I mean, I might be slightly off frame, but it's fine. Well, we know this face down isn't anything uh, bad. So let's just go for the five turn win here, shall we? Uh, yeah. Let's remove rat. Special summon Gigantes. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, first duel back at Vent Duel. Definitely didn't count on this, but... uh. You know, back at class, they never taught us this, man. Some things you gotta learn, you know, hit or miss. Uh, by the way, I think we just won uh, MST the back row. Uh, yeah. Oh, classic, yeah. <laughs> Every action you make is worthless. I reveal my face down. Magic jammer, yeah, oh, man. <laughs> so many bad plays. I remember now. I'm starting to remember. I'm starting to remember the series a bit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we'll just cross out whatever that face down is, and I think we just won, guys. So, ah, good cross out, man. Either, but yeah, yeah, almost forgot about all the flip monsters like Penguin Soldier. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, all the memories are starting to come back. <laughs> uh, uh, but no, uh, let's get some things out of the way. So, while we finish off Zane here, is the LP back? Um, I'm playing right now. You know, you know, man, I love you guys. First of all, I I love you guys and I missed you guys. So, just want to get that out of the way. If you're watching this, hey, thanks for sticking by the channel through everything. Uh, you're the goat. You you rock, and uh, and I love you. Um, but no, no, no. I'll uh, we're about to finish Zane, so I'll uh, kind of continue with my update. But uh, after this uh dialogue here but before we do that let me get a drink and we won sweet sweet sauce one second get a drink here there we go <laughs> all right mm. oh man that was good mm. if you if you're a new fan expect unprofessionalism been from a, a fan for a while, you already know the drill. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Zane lost to Floodmon 14? Yeah, he sure did. Right in front of your face. What now? You say it was it was it was all oh, oh it can't possibly be, it didn't really happen. <laughs> Man, you're like the guys who doubted aliens for years, and then the FBI came out with the government report and you still doubt, you know, aliens and things like that. Uh, anyway. I don't believe it. Inconceivable. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Not only did you beat me once, Flood, <laughs> you beat me twice. I respect you. You're now the new top duelist in Duel Academy. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, well. Or shall I call you champion instead? I, the, 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 you know, Yugi Moto still exists in this universe. Seto Kaiba also for <laughs> Joey will so many. Let's hold off on the, you know, champion, you know, talk. So, uh, but I, I beat you. That's, you know, that, that, and besides, that's just one day. You, you know, you guys uh, watch football, you know, any given Sunday. I mean, this is just like two duels. That doesn't, yeah, you know, I mean, we duel another 10 times, Zane, and I might be down uh, 210 to you. Two losses, two 10 wins. How? That's it. Well, I, how, why, this life of slacking, it can't be. Gain 3,000 DP. Oh, that's a great way to come back to uh, an episode of GX. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, maybe we should save after that. Yeah, geez. Uh, you know, in case the recording just cuts off like right now. Because it could. It could. So, to continue my update, yeah. Um... Yeah, first episode with this phone, so I uh, don't know how that's going to turn out. Hopefully, everything's kosher and, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I uh, uh, always want to know how good a shrewd duel is, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, now, I'll give you guys the short answer. Is the LP back? No. No, it's not. I was just like, you know what? kind of feel like playing this so you know if the episode cuts off and this is like a two-parter yeah so be it you know we, we had some fun um 
you know, uh, then that's it, you know. So, um, but hey, we're playing right now, and uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> let's have some fun, shall we? All right, get your game on, yeah, dude. Um, polymerization first turn, what you got, Flame Wingman? It's my favorite card. Ah, he said it, he said it. He, he said the line from the show. I love it when shows do that. Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman. Smart Man. Ooh, we got another Polly. Ah, oh, no, no. Skyscraper, though. Nice turn from Jaden. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be on the back of foot a little here. Yeah. So he's going to use Flame Wingman's, you know, superpower. You know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I I can't say the LP's back, you know, for good, for good, indefinitely. But uh, oh, oh, oh well, that's convenient. We have Snatch Steel. Hmm. Uh, you know, Jaden, you did so well going all out and powering up your flame wingman. <coughs> Yoink! Thank you, sir. May I have another? By the way, that voice I did with Crowler and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, my throat. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, it is the first episode back, so I wouldn't be surprised if I sound a little different on this recording. I'm going to have to check, you know, just, uh, you know, <laughs> to, who knows? I may be, I may sound exactly the same. I may be way off. Now, I do remember this card's glitched in this game, which is pretty funny. Yeah, you can activate this without blue eyes, and uh, it's basically extra copies of Raigeki. Pretty funny. Um... Hmm. You know, it is turn three. I could go for a win here. It seems unlikely, but you know what? Jaden's gone all in, so let's play card destruction and see what we get. Maybe we get a combo that ends the game. Oh, no, no, no. But I think I do have limiter removal on this deck, so this was worth going for it. Uh, uh, giant true nade would not be ideal here. Uh, neither would steamroid, because we're not going to be using... We're gonna be attacking directly for the follow-up, so. Uh, but but yeah yeah we'll just we'll just go with uh, Flame Wingman here and um, yeah now your Flame Wingman's gonna betray you, Jaden. <laughs> yeah, a little skydive scorcher of my own. All right, we get the you're winning a duel music. Uh, but yeah yeah yeah, I I can't say the LP's back. Uh, you know I have been doing some. Uh, of course, you guys have been seeing the Dawn of Destiny stuff, I'm sure, but. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, yeah, it's just, I, the only reason I can't commit to it, guys, is because, like, yeah, you know, sometimes it's just, it's not a good time to record around here, you know, it's, like, loud, or there's just, you just there's just stuff going on, you know, and I don't want to interrupt the flow, you know, you want to be feeling the flow, ah, huh? ah, little Zexel uh, reference there, ah, yeah, I'm feeling the flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to be interrupting the flow for show, you know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna <coughs> wrap this duel up here, and uh, yeah, this duel is over yet. Oh, it's not, huh? Uh, by the way, yeah, this may be like a failed recording or a bonus episode, so uh, I'm gonna pretend it's not, but it very well may be. And, you know, if it is a bonus episode, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed take one. Because basically I was just like, hey, you know what, let's just let's just go with this. Just Let's just do it and, you know, transfer it, see how it turns out. I don't know. Yeah, see, see, see what I mean? Uh, what's up? Come in. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. You need anything? All right, man. All right, see ya, Ariana. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Hood Wolf. See ya. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so y'all should check out my nephew's channel, too, by the way. He does some uh, gameplay of his own. Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't go by Hood Wolf. Uh, I'm going to have to give him a shout-out sometime, though. Uh, don't I lost. Let's do it next time. But yeah, yeah. You guys should check him out. You know what? I might like link his channel below or something. I don't know. Uh, if I remember. Uh, ooh, a new person. Okay, so. 
maybe we get a couple of events in this episode back? I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Also, I didn't really check between recordings. So, sorry if I, like, if we were in the middle of something and I, like, didn't upload to safe state. Like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, but we're going to continue from here, you know. Uh, uh, how should I do this guy's voice? Uh, man, I forgot how it was in the anime. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll just do it like this. I'm Tori, leader of the Tori Seance Crew Ghost. I'm researching card spirits. History says they're the foundation of all duels. Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> you know, it's funny. This is like the first question uh, Ichigo Kurosaki was asked in Bleach. And, uh, man, I, I gotta say, some of those hollows look pretty scary. Those Soul Reapers, not so scary. But they are scary. You know, in terms of, like, unsuspecting le levels of power. You know what I mean? Like, they could just, you know, woof, they could... They got some powerful techniques. Very uns and and they look human. They look just like this guy, like me, like you, like your neighbor across the street. You know, the guy driving right next to you right now. They look just like that guy, but they're you know they're in gee guy. They're in you know, uh, very scary. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, by the way, chat. Do you believe in spirits? Leave a comment down below and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> Almost couldn't hold together there. Tomorrow's... <laughs> I need some water after that one. Oh, man. Good to be back. Good to be back. Ah, back doing this episode. Okay, uh, what time are we at? 17 minutes and 12 seconds? Okay, um, you know what? Ooh, that's a good idea. You know what? We did have, like, kind of two events. Maybe to finish, and I don't know how long this phone can record for. Uh, that's kind of what I'm testing out here. Um, so here's what we're going to do to test things out. I'm going to I'm gonna go to about 27 minutes with time duels. Um, and you know, if it cuts off, it cuts off. And then I know how long I can go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that, that joke came full circle. Uh, flood. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're connecting the dots, baby. Um, so I've only done 97. Yeah. Well, let's just do some time duels. I like these, by the way. Uh, I'm going to turn the music up, man. It's been a while since I heard this music. Heck yeah, man. Heck Yeah. Let's crank it up. Let's do some thinking, chat. Let's do some puzzling. <laughs> I'm saying chat like I'm streaming. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean. Chat, comment section, audience, lovely people. Um, How many cards are in the deck? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we can't possibly deck him out, can we? I doubt that's the win con. So, okay. So, he's at 5,200 life points. We're at a hundred. Um, ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> well, anyone who's played Master Duel can see the wind con here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but the key thing is, is we need to get as many cards banished as possible. So we got Jinzo and Spell Cancer. So negating all spells, negating all traps. Right. Okay, so what we want to do here... Mm, this is starting to make a lot of sense. Okay. So let's summon Banisher of the Light. I'm pretty sure this is the way to do it. It's got to be, right? Um, now, these don't uh, negate effects. So let's just go with Needleworm. Maybe they have a Banish effect on top of the deck. But I was like, yeah, like, uh, that, that would be... I don't know. Why would you do that in a duel like this? Um, so Penguin Soldier can return both. And we do need to return both. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because... Here's, here's what's going to happen. Penguin Soldiers is going to bounce them back. Then with uh, Spell Council off the field, we're going to get rid of them in hand uh, with card destruction. And then, um, yeah, soul release. So, and because the reason is uh, card destruction will banish since uh, Banisher of the Light is on. Because basically we want to create a big, um, uh, you know, final blow with this trap here. So, 
Okay, okay. So yeah, this has to be the way this puzzle works. Return to the hand. You. Let's menu correctly here. Okay. Return spell cancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's activate <coughs> soul release. Banish five more from their graveyard. Nope, don't chain. Definitely don't chain. Uh, and it, I don't think it matters. Uh, <laughs> just for fun, let's check what all's in the graveyard. Worst Raider. Oh, oh it's, it's just these five monsters. Okay. Uh, by the way, does Soul Release banish only monsters or cards? I never really thought about that. Uh, just for my own edification. It is cards, right? Uh, cards, yeah, yeah. So it can be spells or traps. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if Soul Release... Um, would be like a you know a niche tech in a modern format you wouldn't think so you know such a such an unassuming card but considering the amount of graveyard effects these days i could see this like seeing some side deck play even some main deck play and uh clutching out like a a win at worlds yeah very unassuming card uh, and a lot of decks can keep up card advantage these days so yeah, you know, I, I could see it. I could see it in a winning deck list in, in 2024, 2025, 2026. I could see it. I really could. I really could. Yeah. Lots of graveyard effects. Like, uh, you know, like a uh, big welcome labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. You know, the normal effect just gets you a, uh, uh, you know, lady labyrinth of the silver castle from your deck. But then, you know, uh, if you have a level 8, which are all level 8s, then you can banish it from the grave and bounce a card. So, uh, But yeah, it looks like we did that puzzle just fine. So, yeah, I could see Soul Release. I could see it, honestly. I could see it. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so their life points are 9,000. My, my. Backfire Spirit Barrier Ring. Okay. Buster Blader. Okay. Hmm, I see. And our life points are at 4,200. I see. Okay, so for those of you who don't understand the wind con on this one, Spirit Barrier, as long as a monster's on your field, you take no battle damage. Pretty good. Okay. Backfire, whenever a fire is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Ring of Destruction. You guys know what Ring of Destruction is. So what we're going to do here is flip Molten Behemoth, because we need all the damage we can get, I assume. And thanks to um, Spirit Barrier, we're not going to take any damage from just, you know, beaming up uh, Scotty to Buster Blader here. So, and we're just going to trigger Backfire however many times we need to, basically, to win. And then ring at the right time. Um, oh, no, 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 don't chain. This is what's going to be hard about this puzzle. The no to the chain and then the yes to the special summon, because we're going to have to do this over and over and over. Yep, yep. Again, there's Mass Dragon, UFO Turtle. I wouldn't be surprised if there's Troop Dragon in here, although Troop Dragon would not trigger Backfire, so. Um, but yeah, yeah. So this should get, like, probably about, like, 2,500 on Backfire damage. Uh, nope, nope, chain. That's the hardest part of this puzzle, is the... Um, the chain order because you could easily you know misclick and just think oh yes 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 i'm going to special summon but uh, uh no no you know so. all right pretty easy puzzle here oh and i see the combo because um masked dragon is also gonna boost up buster blader for the ring pop ah i see what you did you know what this is a pretty clever puzzle. I appreciate it. I really do. I think it's awesome. This is this is a clever one. This is a clever one. I have to say. Man, this this music is a vibe, bro. Yeah, cause see now Buster Blader's at thirty six hundred. Ooh, or maybe you can't see. Oh, I have the uh, attack points blocked. Oh, I'm going to have to fix that. In the you know what? No, no, no. We're not going to fix that in the next recording. We're going to fix that right now. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Amateur hour over here. And uh, you know what? Leave it in. Leave it in. Leave it in. No cuts. No cuts. 
There we go. Okay. I'm going to move the deck box just over here on my table. And duck. Plucky, I need you to move you. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah, we need to see those uh, quantum attack point mechanics. All right, back to the puzzle, guys. Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> now, are we still recording? I don't know. Okay, we are. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so sorry. Uh, minor editing mistake. Minor editing mistake. You couldn't see the... Uh, Attack points the whole duel. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but, you know, we still won that duel versus Zane pretty easily, honestly. So, no to the chain. Yes to the summon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, I think we're out of targets. So, yeah, and he's at 4,100. So, this has to be the ring time. Okay. All right. And yeah, that leaves 2,400. So we did it. We did it, guys. We cleared this time puzzle. All right. Nice. All right. And that puts us at 26 minutes almost even. So uh, yeah. Hey, uh, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me so much. Um, yeah, if this is the only one-off episode, thanks for joining the one-off episode, man. Love you guys. Uh, yeah, I saw that we're close to 300 subs now, too. So, yeah, if you've been uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, you know, during the hiatus, the unannounced hiatus, I I'm so rude about that. I, I really, I don't know. I don't know what's going to take to change that, but I'm sorry. Um, need to get better. Um, but, hey, appreciate it, all you. This has been fun. This has been fun, honestly. Um, but don't to change that dial because, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to hit in here and then I'm going to hit play right back again. Well, I may take a drink of water first and then we're going to try for about, eh, you know, 14, 15 minutes of time duels in the next one. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, thanks for joining me guys. And, oh, note to self, I'm going to make some backup save files too. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. In between time. All right. Till next time, guys. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait. That wasn't the outro of this, was it? Uh, what was the outro? What was the outro? Um, I forget. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. All right, yep. That, thank you guys all for being here. And uh, another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. And I'll see you all next time. All right, yeah. Catch you later. <laughs> uh, whew, boy. Uh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot the outro. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of why I haven't been recording. Because, you know, you know, I'm, I'm sure you guys heard the knock on the door. Well, hey, if you didn't hear the knock, obviously you heard me talking uh so, long story short, like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of why the videos haven't been going on. Uh, yeah, you know, but it's, hey, the situation is what it is, and, uh, it, you know, it's all good. If I can't, you know, do this, that's, it's not a big deal. Um, well, yeah. Um, I'm sure most of you guys are pretty mature and like you you understand, you know. Uh real life finds a way. Um you know, but hey. In general, you know, I'll try to come back to the LPs, you know, basically throughout the years. You know, I love Yu-Gi-Oh way too much to, you know, hang it up for good. Um but you know, I, I'll try to come back to come back to it basically you know, as long as I can, you know, um, but yeah, yep, um, anyway, uh, I, I can cut, like, that last two-minute part out, you know, you know what, no, 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 just like the, uh, camera flipped down, we're just gonna leave it in, man, <laughs> we're just gonna leave it in, who cares, um, but yeah, more time duels coming up, bye-bye.